Hey, welcome back to Hallowcraft. This is Larry, and today we're doing a vlog update on the Halloween decoration storage. I guess the holiday decoration storage, really. It's November 6th, and it's been about a week since Old Hollow's Eve, and I had to take the weekend, me and Cammie, to clean out the garage, go to the dump, and get ready for this new chapter. So we, again, just moved into this house in July, and a lot of the prior owner's stuff was still out here, mostly construction um, supplies and just, like, stuff you would put in a garage that you typically aren't going to, like, throw away in your trash can. So we had to clean out and make room for a new chapter and how we wanted this garage to feel. It's still not 100%, but it's getting there. So that bike actually came from the prior owners and we'll be paring down some of the bikes because uh, if you're not aware, I used to run a YouTube channel dedicated to uh, mostly mountain biking content and I just grew apart from that community. So. Um, getting rid of, rid of some of the bikes. I still love mountain biking, but um, making videos yearly around it is it's a deep web, so I won't go there, but let's talk about this garage organization. And as you can see, we have a pretty big size two-car garage. We're here in North Florida. And if we wanted to, I we could just drive in here with the two cars if we just move some stuff around and I kind of wanted to keep it open like this so we could do that. And then we have a nook that's kind of like a bump out um, from the main house and that's where we're keeping all of our decorations. So with the exception of some of the background stuff that we'll keep out for videos and whatnot, but this little nook is really awesome for for storing the decorations and you'll see what i did back here i'm gonna move my bike this other bike have a bunch of bikes i use them all but i do need to pare down some of them i've learned i'm just gonna lean it up here for a second but yeah so anyways this nook is really awesome and I like having this cabinet here because this is all bike stuff in here and it kind of divides this area up and you could see that this is not nearly filled but this is all of our decorations so far for Christmas and Halloween and so we're flat packing stuff on this wall and then over here we have boxes and down the road, we're going to get some shelving units, some of the big heavy-duty plastic ones to put in here. I might even build out a makeshift wall with those right here and then get rid of this. But yeah, it's come together quite nicely. Over here before was pretty much just the waste from the prior owner that was just like kicking around in this area that we would kind of just avoid again it's been a, a pretty crazy few months so we wanted to make sure that we decorated for the first halloween in the house to see what the the neighborhood was like and it there's a really good turnout just within the neighborhood within our uh, community and i think the more we build the more people will come from outside of just our neighborhood but you could see how much extra space we still have now, a lot of people use like um, outside accessory accessory sheds and whatnot for their their uh, props. And fortunately for us, we have this, you know, it's almost like a, a space that n never should have existed within a normal garage, but we could use it for props. And we have full height right here. It's like probably, uh, nine foot ceiling right there so we don't have any con uh, constraints on height like you would in a, a accessory shed and we might even build some sort of loft here so that we have more space moving up and I, I would like to do that because then we could slide in uh, flat pack props like this and slide them up like that uh, we'll just see how that goes but 
for the time being. I'm pretty happy with how the, the storage is looking. And it's kind of nice because um, if you put your stuff in like a, an accessory shed outside of your house, like in your yard, you don't get to see this every day. You know, it's kind of nice to just get a little glimpse, something to look forward to throughout the year whenever you're thinking about the holidays and it's like March or May and you're like, man, uh, it'd be nice to be festive and whatnot. You could come out here and just kind of um, have your little own Hobby Lobby decorations. We love going to Hobby Lobby just to get some festive vibes and some good morale in there. But let me know what you think about this. It's it's pretty nice in my opinion because you, you kind of don't really see it from normal day-to-day -day use. But if you ever want to take a peek into the the decorations layer you could go right in there it's not totally closed off and we have access to the important stuff like the hot water heater of course and like the air returns and the utility panel but i think that we could put a lot more still in there and get away with it i plan on building like a a 10 plus foot toy soldier or nutcracker this month so we'll see if i could fit it in here that's going to be a pretty fun one and we still have so much more space we could just stack up a ton of um of those storage bins with small props uh, and then everything that i build for for big props i'll be strategic with make sure that's flat packed and we could just store it up like this um like a theater would essentially and you can see right here i have a mausoleum in the works it's actually more of like a i would say a gothic sort of um church sort of facade i would say that's kind of what i want to want to go for and it's it's going to be multi-use i'm going to try to use it for christmas and then also definitely going to be using it for halloween sorry about the the noise out there there's some neighbors going crazy Sunday and then the reason why I'd like to have the lofted area is because then we could still use this wall for um, storage and hanging stuff instead of having the the um, pack flat sort of props taking up this space it could just be the roof line of the loft essentially and that will leave a lot of space for bins and whatnot because that um, I do plan on making a lot more props, mainly because of my en enjoyment of it and also because of this channel. So we'll, we'll just continue to build the collection and see where it goes. Also you can see the weird black sheep is here, black goat. <laughs> There's, this one's a little bit hard because it, it's such an awkward thing to store. I wish there was a better way to do it. If, if there was a loft in here, it would be nice because I could probably put it up or hang it from from the uh, joists in the loft. But yeah, the, let me know how you feel about this. It's, again, we're very fortunate to have this space and be able to provide an awesome display for the community. Um, it's kind of like, I feel like we're obligated to and uh, we're right on the corner entrance of this uh, subdivision so I feel like we're even more obligated to do it so I'm just going to keep building and building and building and share all the, the props with the community here we do have some of the stuff that isn't um, heat, heat uh, concerned uh, um, there's no problem with it being up in the attic for heat damage I'm not I'm at a loss for words of how to say that, but we've put some stuff up there like that are essentially just wood and and some plastics. That way we don't have to have like a bunch of essentially like staked items out over there. And then over here we have where the set is for the main Halocraft videos. And we'll probably be 
upgrading this. I tore out this like really old um, OSB sort of like just cabinetry right here and t brought it to the dump. And I, I want to put in a nice um, all-in-one toolbox there with a nice um, hardwood top. That way it'll look clean and better on film. But that was the update for today. Let me know how your decoration storage is going. We're in a weird month where we don't really want to put out too much Christmas stuff right away. I know some people just go crazy with it right after Halloween and put their Christmas stuff out, but I'm going to probably wait until at least Thanksgiving to light up the house. And then that way it also gives me a couple weeks to build some stuff that I want to build. But so in between there's Christmas and Halloween right there. So it gives a good idea of what the, the annual storage will be. And yeah, it's looking good for us. I'm looking forward to sharing all the, the new props with you here on the channel. Uh, again, let me know how your decoration storage is going and don't forget to subscribe and share the videos out there. Um, if you have anybody in your life that enjoys this sort of spooky adjacent content, uh, we'll see you on the next one. Happy Hallow crafting.